So in this video, we're gonna walk through how to embed the button wherever you want on your Shopify site. Today, I'm gonna to be going through the tutorial using my personal store called Nadif, as you'll see on the right-hand side here. So let's get started. Presently, the default setting you'll see will be placing the widget in the bottom right of your page, right? Which is what I see here once I've clicked publish. Now, what you've presumably done here, which is why you're on this video, is you want to embed it on a specific page. So we've clicked that. Now, to do that, you need to actually embed this code snippet uh, specifically in the theme, in the template of your Shopify theme uh, manually. Uh, and that's what I'm going to explain how to do in this video. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to copy this, right? And let's say that I would like to put this button not as a floater kind of, you know, on everywhere of my page, like how I have here. Maybe you have a different live chat widget there already. Maybe you have something else there. Maybe you just want to put it underneath this add to cart button. Maybe you want it on every one of your different product pages. In my case, I'd like to put it underneath my add to cart button here. So how would we do that? Well, I've copy pasted this already. We'll do that again. And next step is we're gonna click on our online store and themes. So we have themes will already be selected here. Now, when you get here, you need to click on actions and then click edit code. So now we will click this. Now this might seem a little bit intimidating, but it's not. It's really, really easy. I'm going to walk you through it. Basically what we're going to do here is we're going to find the template that this corresponds to. So this is my product template, my product page template, which is right here, the product.liquid template. I'm going to click that. And this is basically the theme code for this template. Now I want to put it underneath this add to cart button. So this is where you're going to have to kind of just keep an eye out. Um, every theme is different. So I'm not sure what yours will look like. Yours might be very different than mine. But for me, you can see I've had this kind of add to cart section is right here. So I'm going to want to definitely put it somewhere after that. So you can see here the form is the add cart add kind of form. I want to put it after this form, so I'm, I found this form, it ends here. When you select, when you basically click on one form uh, tag, you'll see the other one where it ends. You see where it begins and where it ends automatically. So I'm just gonna make sure that I put it somewhere after that, right, right after that. I can't, don't put this code within the form, the snippet either paste it before or after it. It shouldn't be inside it, because if you put it inside it, uh, it won't work. Uh, you need to put it outside. So once I do that, I'm gonna click Save. Just checking that I have, yep, it's embedded. I'm gonna click Save here so that the new setting is saved. And now that that's saved, I'm gonna click Refresh, and we should see this button jump from there to underneath my Add to Cart section. There we go. This is exactly how I wanted it. Click this. Hey, perfect. It works. Uh, and it'll work on other pages as well, not just this one. But if I go to, uh, let's say, a different product, I click this one. I have this other hot water mixer product. Yep, this is a different product, and the button is there as well. If I go to the home page, just checking. Yep, it's no longer there anymore. It's no longer floating. It's specifically on those pages. Now, you can get creative with this. It doesn't have to be on that product page. It can be on, you know, it could be on your FAQ page. It could be on your About Us page. You could decide to put it even um, on a 404 broken page. So if anyone, if anyone lands on your site where it's a broken link, you, could, you know, they can request a callback for help. You can even put it on your cart checkout page. If I click Add to Cart. You can even embed it here, which I've, I've done as well. Uh, and there's a different video to show you how to do that. You can find that in our YouTube video. Uh, just search for it in our channel and you'll find that. Uh, and I can walk you through that as well. Now, for some people, they will have, uh, I have, I'm using an older theme, but some people will have newer themes uh, that have these sections embedded. If you have sections embedded, you can even, you know, you can basically embed the code in the sections as well. It doesn't have to be in the template section. It can be in the section section. Uh, and again, it's the same basic thing. You just have to find the section that it corresponds to with, within your theme and then paste the snippet, you know, in the right order 
for where would you like it to be shown uh, and just click uh, copy paste that click save and when you refresh your site you should see it now if you have any problems with this uh, we are happy to help you can find us on the support page just click support in your configuration um, and you'll see uh, you'll be able to contact us uh, and uh, and we'll walk you through it thank you very much